it's very important to know that I'm not only victim here. Real sexual assault victims and real rape victims also suffer a lot with this because of what the girl said and because the girl said a false lie. So it's important for those people out there to know that this girl made a false accusation and that people that actually got raped and sexual assault assaulted should still come forward. I think the university saw the writing on the wall. The evidence was clearly uh, not substantial enough to support the allegations that were made against it. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep on trying to, to overcome this obstacle. And I'm very thankful I have my friends and my family backing me up on this. I would say to the SDSU officials that are handling the Title IX uh, policies here on this campus, particularly the individuals at the Center for uh, Student Rights and Responsibilities, to give some thought as to the other side of the uh, story. This will uh, obviously bring me a lot of problems in the future. Finding a job when I have kids and they Google my name on Google, the first 10 pages are about me. And I mean, that's that's not something I deserve. That's I, I have done nothing wrong to deserve this. And now I have this shadow following me wherever I go in 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. And that's just not fair, is it now? That's just not fair. It's not fair that San Diego State sends that email that basically tarnishes and has changed my life forever.